Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 25. In this video, we'll be making our first quest. So I will turn this blacksmith we just made into an NPC. So let's go to the model, and we'll do Add Component NPC. And Movement None. So now let's also do a ply blocks for NPC, actually, object on interact. Let's do a debug, common debug. You interacted with me. We should also give the blacksmith a capsule collider so that we can click on him. So now that we can interact with this NPC, we need to make the quest itself. So let's go to Tools, DiQ, Quest Editor. I'll dock that up top. And also Tools, DiQ, Graph Editor. So we'll start with the quest. I'll make a quest. Let's rename this to Kill Zombies. Our quest text is what will be shown in the RPG UI quest log. Kill two zombies is, is all right. And now we need a condition. Let's make a key. This will update every time we kill a zombie. Let's name this zombies killed. And the target value is two for this simple quest and then a reward. Let's do currency of 200. Now let's make the graph itself. So now let's add a quest status. This is the first and I'll connect the start to the quest status. So when we talk to this NPC for the first time, the status of quest kill zombies will be unknown. So the dialog, which is this one here, the dialog for unknown will say, can you help me? Let's have two responses. The first one might say, what's going on? Second one would say, I'm sorry. I can't. So, should they choose, I'm sorry, I can't, this graph will end and the interaction on the NPC will stop. Assuming they say, What's going on? we can go to a new dialogue. Let's connect that here. This one will say, I need you to kill the undead. I need you to kill those monsters outside. And once again, let's do two responses. I'll take care of it, and I'm sorry I can't for this example. So when they say, I'll take care of it, now let's do an accept quest block. Now they accept the quest, kill zombies, and the dialogue ends. If you talk to this NPC again, 
the quest status will be accepted. So the dialogue would be pretty straightforward. He might say, Are you going to take care of them? I'll do that now. If you've completed this little quest, the dialogue would be, thank you. No problem. When you click on the no problem choice of what to say, which is your only choice, you will be given a quest reward. So that's a quest reward block. And that is a reward from the Kill Zombies quest, which then ends the conversation. And last but not least is the rewarded. If he has already rewarded you for this quest, you could open up a second quest. Or we could just say, I have nothing more to ask from you. So we'll do that for now. I don't need anything else. All right. Okay, so the graph, this simple graph here is set up. Now let's set up the NPC to start the graph and the simple the RPG UI example UI. So we'll go to the ply blocks. On interact, instead of a debug, let's do diaq begin graph. And that is the, I guess we should give it a name. Let's go back to the graph and rename it to blacksmith. Now in the blacksmith ply blocks, on interact, we begin his graph, and we'll also want to show the RPG UI dialog window. So let's go to GUI, show dialog. Now when the graph ends, every time it says end, Interaction with the NPC will stop. That's when we can stop the graph. So let's go to RPG object on interact stopped. And here we will hide the dialog and diaq stop graph. So that should do it. Also, I don't think I have the RPG UI quest log hotkeyed. Let's go to my player prefab. And we had the inventory here. Let's also copy this and we can do if uh, whatever button is the quest log, L or J. Let's just do L for now. If L goes down and if quest log, then we can show quest log or hide quest log. I'll also need to make sure that local game object is in my canvas, which it isn't. So I'm going to save my scene. I'll also turn the roof of this building back on. There it is. And go back to my RPG UI and set up my quest log so that L will show it. That way we can just make sure this quest is working properly. 
and in the canvas game object local variable called quest log and here it is drag that game object in I'll save my scene One small Unity thing to note, just now I tried to save, but since I hadn't altered the hierarchy in any way, the game wouldn't let me, with Control s or possibly even save scene, so what I did was I just made a new em empty game object and then deleted it. Now that a change has been done in the hierarchy, you can save and safely move away from your scene. And the last thing we need to do is update the condition in our quest we need to kill two zombies. We need to get the condition zombies killed to two. So I will grab a zombie out here. And on death, we need to go to DIAQ, update quest condition, or perform quest condition, either one. zombies killed. So that should increase zombies killed by one. I'll hit save, apply the prefab, let's make another one, and try our quest out. Quest log was hotkeyed to L, here it is. Can you help me? What's going on? I need you to kill those monsters outside. I'll take care of it. If I press L, here's the kill zombies. Kill two zombies. Let's see if we can turn this quest in. Thank you so much. No problem. Now I have a debug set to tell us how much currency we have. We should have 200. We do have 200. Ignore the fact that I just killed myself with the debug there. So that's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. Join me next time, where we will be making a quest tracker.